Hi guys, Kotutar here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, as a part of discussion on when, which is an equivalent of Java's switch, we have seen the syntax of how to write a when statement. We have observed that when can actually work as an expression which returns a value. You can see here that depending upon whatever when case works out to be, the when can initialize the message which is a string data type here. And not only that, you have to keep in mind that else, which is a default case, is compulsory. If you don't write else, then the compiler will complain when is not exhaustive enough. And by the time we ended the previous video, I said that here we are seeing all the cases in when statement are all integer, but it is not always necessary. In Kotlin, they need not always be constant. They can even become an Boolean expression. That basically means when code block can actually replace a if else, else if chain. Well, to understand this, let's get into a demo. This is the same demo that we were working with in the last video. Only the difference is now I have changed the color theme of IntelliJ IDE. If you are wondering how to do that, you have to go to the preferences and then editor, go to color scheme general. Last time I was doing it with Dracula, which was making the whole screen black. I prefer the white background. So I am going back to the white background here. Let me create a variable, I call it as sample name and let me write my name here basically i want to create initials so it would be a v d and if it is only anil deshpande then it is a d you can always write if else else if chains but the other possibility is well split string i will split the string and then i will write initials and i will write when and now here what i can do is I can check for what is the size of the split string. So that is split string dot size is equal to three. If it is equal to three, then I can write split string dot get zero dot get zero. That will give me a and then this will give me v and this will give me d. So it will be basically giving me a v d and then if split string size equal to two, then I can just go for two initials. As you can see here, it is giving me compilation error saying that it is not exhaustive. When expression is not exhaustive and when I write else, I can write unknown. And now I can just print initials. Let me comment out and let me run this. As you can see here, this one is giving me a initials as AVD. And if I just remove D here and rerun this and it will give me AD. So the idea is these things can be even Boolean expressions. They need not always be constants as we have seen in the earlier case. So that is what the whole idea of demonstrating this. And another thing that I wanted to demonstrate is you can use when statement for type checking. What do I mean by that is, so let me comment out this. Let me create variable, sample variable, which is of type any. Any is a super class of all the classes in Kotlin. This is not exactly like Java's object, but something akin. But don't compare Java's object with any in Kotlin. And let me initialize it with some value. And then what I can do here is when sample variable is, I am going to print this is a float data type. And in the same way, if it is a double, double data type and if it is a int then it is int data type and let me add another one which is long and now you can see here that here it is not complaining about when not being exhaustive because you can basically ignore for some of the possible values or you can still write else unhandled data type and you can initialize message with this and then print it and now if I run this, depending upon what value I am passing, it basically will check what type of data type it is. It will help you to determine what type of the data that you are dealing with and then take an appropriate action. So if I run this, this is a double data type. And then you can also check not is this exclamation mark along with is. 
to basically check for whether a data type is not of a particular type. So this is another thing that I wanted to demonstrate. So with this, I am pretty much mainly done with when block in Kotlin. In the next video, we will talk about loops. So stay tuned. That brings us to the end of this particular video. Don't forget to like, comment, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Bye.